Hidden in the nooks of the Himalayas is a tiny kingdom that has come to be known as the last Shangri-La. In the last few decades, Bhutan has risen as a successful country despite its developing status. But under the facade of a nation that measures success according to the philosophy of gross national happiness, Bhutan has a dark past. An ethnic cleansing attempt wiped out one-sixth of its population in the 90s. Druk King Jigme Wangchuk amended the 1958 Bhutan Nationality Act with the Citizenship Act in 1985. And with it, he forwarded the One Nation, One People campaign. The new act tightened the requirements to be a Bhutanese citizen. The campaign forced the minorities who have their own traditions and languages, such as the Bhutanese Nepali community, to follow suit with the majority. They were forced to wear and conduct themselves as druks. At the wake of the act, the government administered a census operation that reclassified the Bhutanese Nepali minorities as illegal immigrants. Several of the stateless asylum seekers ended up in refugee camps in Nepal. In 2009, the UN Refugee Agency introduced a third country resettlement program that have resettled over 100,000 refugees across the world, including the Adhikaris.